Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about the cheap booster boxes and no, this is not a sponsored video and no, I'm currently sponsored by no one outside my two Patreons. So shout out to my two Patreons and I wanted to talk about the nature of this. So I own a store now and the store I've actually moved into, I haven't taken a video of it yet and I was looking at, I did take like a video on my phone, but it's kind of dizzy because I move a lot. Like my home video, but, and I've been in San Francisco. I have to go to San Francisco back for the holidays. So I might not have too much time to move into my new place, but it is, there is furniture. It comes with furniture, which is nice. The water, the electric, the internet now is all turned on. And although I'm paying for rent beginning January, I've already moved in all the stuff, uh, pretty much all the stuff. There is some anime figures we haven't moved in yet because I decided to keep them. So the holiday sale is very interesting because instead of having a Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Cyber Week, we now have a holiday sale that lasts until January 2nd. And a lot of stores are doing this, which is telling me they are desperately trying to move product. I have been contacted by many stores. Uh, many stores want to sell me their product at cost above what I can get at Dave and Adams with all my discounts. And I don't know why you guys can't stack discounts. My discounts stack. So, huh. Anyway, it is really, really tough times on most Magic the Gathering stores. Uh, Star City Games is no different. Uh, they're selling booster boxes of Ixlon for $70 a box. Now, yes, I know shipping on Star City Games is well, relatively expensive, but you really don't see this. Ixlon is the newest set. The newest set. And it's selling for $70 a box. That cannot be right. I mean, that is insane, right? MSRP on the box is 145 but that's how competitive it has gotten like there's really just it's so bad for local game stores now with Star City Games who is a I, I will give them credit they are a good store in terms of reliability they are a good store in terms of customer service and they won't jip you on a pre-order or something like that they are a quality store now why is this store selling it a box for $70, a, the most recent standard box for $70? No one's buying them and there's too much stock. That is what I've heard time and time again. I've been contacted. I have been on the phone for hours and hours with these people trying to reason with them. And, you know, I don't know, like they don't get it. Like they want to sell me boxes for $70. But why would I buy a box of $70 when I can buy a box you know, one single box from Star City Games is seven dollars. Why do I need to buy seven or a few hundred boxes for seventy dollars a box? And this isn't even the worst box, right? I'm only bringing this to your attention because it's the most recent set. And typically, your local game store is going to sell this set for a hundred bucks, a box of this for a hundred dollars, no problem. But that's no longer the case. Everything is so much cheaper online. I think Prime has this for eighty-two, Amazon Prime. The more I research this, the less I understand about how do they make money. Like, I really don't understand how anyone's making money from selling a box at $70. Is it that Star City gets the box for below distributor price? So if you bought this directly from a distributor, it would cost $78. How is, how are they selling it for 70? I don't know. It doesn't make sense, but. I mean, are they taking an $8 loss on every one of these boxes? And even more if you like have trade-ins and stuff like that? That can't be right. Like, I, I don't get that. Like, why, how can you? So I can understand when RTR goes for $70 a box or Gatecraft goes for 60 or Born of the Gods goes for $50 a box. They got to get rid of them. But I can't understand a standard Ixlon box for $70, for under $70. That to me is tells me all types of bad stuff are happening uh, if a big vendor because if you're a local store you a don't have the reputation of star city games and b you probably have more overhead at least in this type of sense that your player base but your player base is still going to 
compare you to Star City game prices. And typically that has always helped the store where the store is like, oh, we can give you cheaper than you, than Star City. But now if Star City, which used to be considered one of the most expensive places to buy boxes and singles, you can still argue singles are expensive, is the cheapest place to buy it, you have problems. And this is the reason I don't want to carry boxes. I mean, imagine paying $78 a box at distribution or at that price and then finding that Star City Games is taking all your customers away at $70 a box. Feels bad. Uh, feels bad. I don't I don't know how they can do it. I, I really the math does not add up unless I'm missing something where the only scenario I could see this happening is if it was $70 a box and Star City got it for like 50 or 60 and they were willing to do it. But in that case, why wouldn't they have done it from the very beginning just to wipe out more local game stores, right? Why are they doing it now? So I guess my question is, why now? There's so many years in the past where I've seen boxes for 100 on their website or 80 or 90, and you know that kind of makes sense to me. Uh, and Star City Games, you used to compare all your prices to it because it was so expensive. And not just saying it's a, it's a what was it, a holiday sale? It's something deeper and it's something very worrisome to me because I looked at being a WPN, super easy, but why would you want to, right? Why would you want to? I think if you buy it directly from Wizard of the Coast, it's like $76 a box or 74, I think it's 76. It's 78 if you buy from a distributor, 76 if you buy from Wizard of the Coast directly. But I mean, if you're still selling a box for $70 and you're not, you, you don't count the labor, you don't count the inventory space, you don't count the insurance that you probably have on it in case like there's like warehouse fire or something like that. I mean, man, I just can't see it. Anyway, bye guys.